Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of Call of the Plague Bearer. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Uh, where Finn and Leo are having a pretty fun time. They're doing... things are going nice. Um, but let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Scenario 3, Dead by Dawn. You can see the deck list there on the side. Uh, intro 1. Midnight comes and goes with little progress. The quiet streets of Rivertown seem to hold no signs as to the source of the monstrosity you use, monstrosities you've been fighting against. Apologies for my inability to speak. We're three and a half hours into the stream so far, so my ability to talk is worse. Just as you're considering finding somewhere to catch some sleep, your attention is caught by the sound of wheels rattling on unpaved stones. You peer into a nearby alley and see a man in a doctor's coat trying to push a wobbling gurney through a side door. A man whose face you recognize it. Oh, so yeah, it's Brianimator. It takes you a moment to place him, but the mousy figure can only be Dr. West, one of your two attending physicians at St. Mary's. What is he doing here? And at this time of night? With a dead body? Uh, before you can answer, several cars come bearing down the street. By the time they've passed, West is nowhere to be seen. Check your campaign log. We have earned... We'll get rid of the deck list now. We have earned Grayson's respect. So we go to intro two. The cat is lying on my desk and watching your little window. That's fine. Hello. No, don't attack me. Stop it. Um, you look down the street and see a band of armed agents pouring out of the cars. To your surprise, Agent Grayson exits the lead car. Before she can turn to address the gathered agents, you run out and flag her down. Certainly didn't expect to see you all here. Can't be a coincidence, though. We're looking for Asset Delta 2. He's an expert. Might know how to stop all this. Goes by Herbert West. He, you interrupt saying, we, we, now we know him, as well as what you just saw. Grace on eyes you with surprise. Aren't you full of the unexpected? Well, if you're up to it, we're going in after him. What do you say? Feel like joining the cavalry? Someone's car is not having a good time out there. Okay. Gather all the cards from the following sets. Chilling cold. Burr. When gathering cards from the gifts of the plague bearer, do not include the twisted supplicant. Okay. Set the west laboratory location side out of play. Put each other location to play. Shuffle one side. Each one side of reanimated enemy together to form the reanimated deck. Search the, set the top two cards of the deck aside out of play. Okay. Check your campaign log. If Hibs is here to help, search each player's deck and the set aside cards for Hibs. If it wasn't a deck, put the player under that player's control. Otherwise, put it into play under any player's control and attach a copy of Tenuous Allies to it. Hmm, really? Hibs is here to help. Okay. Search each player's deck and set aside side copies for Hibs. If it was in a deck, put in play under that player's control. Otherwise, put into play under any player's control. Oh, otherwise. So we just get him. So he's not tenuous allies. Correct? Oh, Hibs. Herbert West, first among many. Oh my god, first among many is back? Check your campaign log. If the investigators have earned Grayson's respect, when constructing the act deck, use Act 1A, Friendly Dorman. Sorry, this should be Friendly Dorman. When gathering cards from the agency survivors, do not include the suppressing fire. The fuck? Pressing fire. So we don't include these. And I 
or agency troubleshooter. Interesting. Place the Ichabod enemy at the ground hall. Mindless side face up. Search your player cards for a copy. Huh. Excuse me? For a copy of the Guardian card, Agency Backup Level 5. Attach a copy of Tenuous Allies to it. It begins play under any investigator's control. Don't forget to also do Virgil, third step. Place the Virgil enemy at the bottom of the reanimated deck with the lurking threshold with the lurking at the threshold facing the top of the deck. Sorry. Place the Virgil enemy. Place the Virgil enemy at the bottom of the reanimated deck with the lurking at the threshold facing the top of the deck. With the lurking at the threshold. This isn't supposed to be here. Oh, I see. The lurking at the threshold facing the top. He's double sided. Okay. I get you. We can play at the Grand Hall. Oh, poor dude has two health. Okay, and that's it for setup. Okay, let's shuffle and read. The ancient brownstone manor is in disrepair, though someone has clearly been living here for some amount of time. More concerning is the variety of what appears to be corpses spread throughout the house. Before sitting on the round, heal one damage from each reanimated enemy. Friendly Dorman! Before you can begin searching for West, a shout draws your attention. An agent is gripped overhead by a massive figure lumbering down the stairs. As the poor agent is torn apart, you see that the hulking defender lacks a head. Of course, definitely can. Investigators may not leave the Grand Hall. When Ichabod would be defeated, immediately advance. This one has the tailors have bust down the door and sent some fodder in ahead of you. If there is an exhaust, an action, if there is an exhausted, reanimated enemy at this location, discover one clue at this location limit once per turn. So he's gonna go here. Um. This is a tailor's mess to clean up. An impressive chamber somewhat lessened by the makeshift cages lining the walls. Okay. So when Ichabod will be defeated, we immediately advance. All right, let's see what our opening hand is. One. Skull. Let's see this thing. Minus X, where X is the greatest damage on a reanimated enemy in play. Max 5, minus 3 if you succeed, deal 1 damage to any reanimated enemy in play. Minus 2 if you fail, ready the nearest exhausted reanimated enemy. Cool. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Oh my god. Can't leave the Grand Hall. I mean, I think we take these two. I also will probably grab the deduction here. Hmm. Interesting. No Mariner's Compass. I think this is going to be good later on. Okay, we haven't resolved the mulligans over here yet. It's hard to say no to a weapon. Decorated skull, is it good? Probably, right? I mean, we have this problem we have to deal with. But, like, Guard Dog can solve that problem. Yeah, let's give this hand a shot. I really want to find, like, our Brass Nux. I think the Overpower can go. Maybe we can find something better. Ooh. Then don't mind if I do. Okay. Well, Leo can start this off. And he's going to drop down Guard Dog. Yep, that's good. Um, and then we're going to ding this guy for one. Uh, and then I think we just like... Okay, no, so we, we don't do this one first. We provoke an attack of opportunity. Can we do that? Into the meat grinder, you dog. And then we do this, which kills Ichabod. The dude does not have victory, so just something to be aware of. But he is double-sided, so he probably gets removed. When he would be defeated, we immediately advance. Okay, so let's do this first. As you dispatch the lumbering body, you hear a shout from the back of the manor. I won't go back, you hear me? You agency cattle, tell Grayson she can get some other genius to solve her mess. Ichabod, dispatch these children. A wheezing noise comes from directly behind you. Turning you find the figure that you most assuredly just killed rising to its feet. Flip Ichabod mindless drone to Ichabod head of security. Interesting. Put the set aside West Laboratory into play. Laboratory. For the remainder of the scenario, the following rules apply. Reanimate enemies with damage in excess of their health do not ready during the upkeep. When a reanimated enemy takes damage in excess of its health, exhaust that enemy. Place this card next to the act deck as a reminder. Assist Asset Delta 2 is Dr. Herbert West, one of your attending physicians at St. Mary's. The doctor has locked himself in behind a variety of contraptions while his gruesome defenders do their work. When an investigator enters West's laboratory, we advance. So we've done one action this turn, right? We've played the skull. Yeah, and this fucker has his damage on it. So the skull's actually probably going to be pretty bad here, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Not 
so what do we freaking do here? Spawn hunter alert retaliate cannot be defeated. So I have to attack him one more time. To not take more damage this turn. But the fucker has retaliate. I guess Leo's just going to pass on his remaining actions and have Finn deal with it. If it exhausts... Yeah, uh, no, if it exhausts, you don't automatically disengage from it. I imagine the intention is that it automatically disengages from you. Because otherwise the enemy just... You're just dragging the body around, right? No tax opportunity, it's true. It's true. But I mean, like... Yeah, I think Leo just has to pass on his actions. Play Lola. Lola. Actually, we probably don't need Lola yet. We'll be at five. No, we want Lola. So then we grab... But then he's going to still just go to Leo and I have to spend a whole other fucking action to do something. All right, we'll try to evade this guy at six to three for a free action. Minus two. All right, Leo, we're just gonna do this again. It's in excess of its health. Not when they're defeated. If they're defeated, they're still just there. All right. Uh, we want to play this out. That's going to be important to our system. All right, this dude stands up and goes to Leo. And then at the end of the round, he heals. Okay, upkeep. Oh, was well, that'll be nice if we have a chance to take actions with Leo. Luckily, this turn we will, we will have a chance. All right, let's see what this deck is. I'll tell you right now, I, uh, this scenario is making me grumpy so far. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So I think we're gonna grab Ichabod. We're gonna try to evade Ichabod at six to three. We 
We pass by three, so we'll look at the top three cards of our deck. We're going to grab this Nimble, I think. And he'll be evaded. Um, action number two, we're going to eavesdrop on this location. We're going to choose Ichabod, of course. So we're going to have six to his three. Nice, we'll succeed. So we're going to get two clues from our location. Uh, and then we're going to try to jury rig this thing. Uh, I think we'll also actually just take two damage to just get rid of this. Don't want that in play. So we have three actions remaining. We might as well investigate at six, seven to three. We'll grab two more clues. Two actions remaining. We'll test this out at six to three. Get rid of it. And then we'll check out these. So we have the servant's entry and the apothecary room. We'll go to the servant's entry first. We should check out all locations. Uh, one straw, sorry, something, whatever is down there smells rancid. Sparse furnishing, poorly kept, and no better wear from the treatment of the resident physician. A large boiler burns in the far corner. As an action, if there are no reanimators enemies at this location, an investigator at this location spend two clues uh, per player as a group. Place one resource token on this location. Group only once per game. We need that because there needs to be at least three locations with resources on them for us to get into West's laboratory. All right, Leo. You're going to play your Knuckle Duster. Uh, fast, you're going to put this uh, Reliable on it. Uh, I think also as well, we wanted to put Hired Muscle out as well for, as things go. Now let's punch Ichabod for action number two. We have four, five, six to three. He'll take two damage. Let's go again. Six to three. Let's just keep this guy down. Nice. Just give us like a bunch of time away from Mr. Ichabod. <laughs> okay. Upkeep. But he just wants to hug. No, I saw he tore a dude in half. I should be a two doom, not four. Not, not zero. Two of four. And then this guy heals to four. Peril, you must either move each unengaged enemy one location towards you. Sure. Plus two shroud. Sure, not a problem. Okay, we want Leo to go first. Had to pay one resource for Mr. Hired Muscle. Let's fight. We have six to three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. We're going to put two of this on the guard dog. Guard dog is going to deal one damage back to him. The horror we're going to put on agency backup. We don't really need to worry about getting clues. Let's go again. Six to three. Hey. Can't you just move Ichabod towards me? No, because he was on my location, so I could not choose to move him towards me. You must be able to uh, change the game state. If, uh, ch if one choice uh, changes the game state and the other ones don't, you have to make the choice that changes the game state. Tetsuo is a huge get there. He'll go to three. Specifically if it says must. Even 
even more specific. So I think the correct course of action here is to just move to the apothecary room. Just off the main chamber is a room lined wall to wall with bottles and jars. All manner of bizarre tinctures line the dusty shelves. You know the shelves have cleared spots. There must be some hidden mechanism here. Uh, if there are no reanimated enemies at this location, we can spend three players. As, if there are no ready, ready, big important word there. Uh, three players, clues as a group, place one resource token on this location. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Finn, let's investigate for action number one. We're going to be at six to three. We pass by zero. Get rid of the fog. Let's go again. Alternatively, we could also just Dark Horse, sorry, Lola this away, and then we can move out of here. That seems actually, no, no, we won't be able to move out. So we might as well try to get something from the cigarette case. So we're gonna investigate at six to the game's one. So we have four, so we succeed by three. Let's look at the top three cards of our deck for a card. Sorry, we only have five, so we actually only look at one card. Sorry, two cards. I'm doing bad math. We will take that, though. Um, then for our last trick, we will spend four clues to place a resource on that location. Okay, upkeep. I did not shuffle my deck. Or I did, and that was just a coincidence. Okay, evil card here. Test bring four if you fail either. Take one whore for each point you fail by. Already the furthest. Okay, testing four all. Pay the money for this guy, by the way. We pass. That's lucky. Test bring four if you fail, cannot fail, choose and discard one asset you control. chill I think Hibs can go that's he's not as good as card draw he's not as good as card draw yeah rip Hibs froze to death he'll be back they all, they all come back. Okay. Leo. Move into this location. Punch Ichabod. We have four, five, six to three. Yeah, stay down, you freaking nerd. Just buys us more time before he can get up. And then, because he doesn't have much else to do. And then Finn. Doot, doot. And then I think you're just going to play the compass. Okay. All right. Hey, look at that. I completely forgot about the skull. I appreciate that, Chain Dreamer, but I'm probably never going to use it. Frick, we should have got rid of Lola. All right, this advances. Let me guess, we're going to see another dude. You hear a switch flip and a machine's word of life. From somewhere in the manor, a bright luminescent green liquid flows through the pipes into a body on the table. A body that first twitches, then springs to something resembling life. Spawn the top card of the reanimated deck. 
We got Brutus, spawn of the bedroom. Hunter retaliate cannot be defeated. Oh, frick, he's right there, huh? <laughs> he's big! Okay. Asset Delta 2 appears to be experimenting with a method of raising the dead. Whatever his motivations, the results are unruly, violent, and in your way. Evil card number one. Okay, we're testing four all. So we can either, for each point you fail by, or ready the furthest reanimated enemy and move it directly to your location. Let's bring Brutus to us. Saves us an action. We wanted to fight him anyway. Okay. Okay, it's not really that big of a thing. We're destined one to four. We fail. Have to add it to the stats, though. We do fail on that one. We have to add it to the stats, though. That's what's most important here, right? So we'll bring uh, Ichabod. So he's going to actually grab onto Leo. Okay. It's really not bad. It's just going to suck if we miss, if we draw the minus four. So there's two tokens in the bag that are bad. Everything else we just beat naturally as Leo, which is kind of nice. We're going to attack Brutus first. So we have six to three. Nice. He'll take two damage and he'll be knocked on the ground. Uh, we're up against Ichabod next. We have four, five, six... Sorry, four, five, six to three. Nice, get that punk out of here. Put him up to five. Oh, no, I think we're actually doing pretty okay still. We just got to get ahead of them, that's all. But I think, I think we're still doing pretty all right. Let's move up here with Leo for our last action. We just gotta make sure we stay on them, right? There's gonna be more, there's gonna be a lot. We just have to make sure we stay on the efforts. So this one is, someone has been sleeping here for a long time, scattered notes and piles of laundry litter the room. As an action evade, this can only target a reanimated enemy or location. Add your book to your foot for this evade. If you succeed, the enemy cannot ready this round. If you fail, heal two damage from that enemy. Shroud of four, and there are four clues here. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, where's dynamite when you need? Actually, yeah, for sure. Finn. We're going to Mariner's Compass here. So we have four, five, six to three. Nice, we'll succeed by two. So let's look at the top two and draw one. I think I would like to not draw my weakness. It might be a controversial opinion, but we'll grab two clues here. And I think Finn is one away from starting to get really nice, starting to get strong. Hopefully we don't need to come back here to flip the switch. Like hopefully there's multiple rooms where we can flip a switch, right? Oh, that's the basement. Weird that it goes up. That's something Travis would say in his notes. He'd be like, why is the basement up at the top for when you laid this map out? That's a, that's a Travis note for sure. Okay, we have one action left. What's the line? Honestly, I'm just going to investigate it. No. No, we're not going to just test up one. Yeah, it is doing his name proud, no doubt, eh? So I'm make sure we shuffle. gain a resource for our last action. Upkeep. Tetsuo. Spend the money on this guy. I 
And luckily these guys are gonna be coming at us at different paces, that's nice. Peril, place one doom, draw one of the set aside, reanimated cards at random, remove this card from the game. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, from the set aside. The set aside? Yeah, give it to me. Spawn of the basement. He does heal. Thank you so much for that, Chain Dreamer. Not actually, I'm mad at you. He should actually probably be at two now. I am mad at you and like, that's it. That puts these guys on the same schedule. That's really rough. But it looks like not all of them have Hunter. Remove this shit from the game, man. That's a tough card. Fear of the Walking Dead. Put Fear of the Walking Dead into your play area. After you enter a location with a reanimated, it may take one horror. If there's at least a reanimated with at least four damage on it, discard Fear of the Walking Dead. That's rough. <clears throat> this is bad. Alright, we want Leo to go first. He's gonna stand together. I think he moves in here. And he punches Ichabod at six to three. Keep Brutus down another turn. Yeah. All right. But now here's where we start seeing Finn hopefully just start popping off. We're gonna do Mariner's Compass. We have four, five, six, seven to four. I would love to start drawing the cultists now because there's a positive effect, but we're never going to. We're never going to, just so you guys know. We try to evade this guy for our last action. Anyway, what did we succeed by there? We were at six to four. Succeeded by zero, so let's not use this. No, we had seven, we succeeded by one. I'll draw a card. We could get a free evade on this guy. That is probably the line here. We could free evade and nimble. That's not bad. Yeah, let's move into here. Well, this basin smells musty and ancient, the wiring and lighting implies that someone has been keeping it somewhat up to modern standards. Last action, move in here. There's already, uh, there's already reanimate ending at this location. Investigators spend eight clues as a group, deal two damage, deal two damage to that enemy, exhaust and place one resource token on this, limit once per game. Okay. Uh, we'll attempt to evade this guy. Sorry, we take a horror. It's gonna get frustrating, huh? But we are gonna try to evade this guy. It's very hard to get rid of this too. Uh, four, five, six to three. We'll do this to go seven to three. Actually, you know what? We're also gonna do this to go eight to three. You know what? Let's really give this game. Let's let's make it ask tell us what to do. We're going to go so 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 to 3. All right. We got to take an additional action and we get to move up to 3 times.
All right, we're gonna do the move first though, I think. Get this punk out of here. So we're gonna go one. Yeah. Six first, I've already used the six. Thank you though, good call. I have a last clue discovered in this location. If an investigator this location controls the suspicious briefcase asset, place two damage on each reanimated enemy in play. Group limit twice. So basically I'm just trying to find the path I want to go for this. Tub room. If there are no ready reanimated enemies at this location, we can spend three clues as a group, place one resource token on this location. Okay. And then let's move down to the abandoned room. After you succeed at a fight or evade test against a reanimated enemy at this location, gain one clue from the token bank, limit once per phase. Okay. Uh, and then for our last action, I think we move up into the tub room. I think that's better than anything else we could do. I mean, we could sign a Faustian bargain. No, we're not gonna. We're gonna move back up there. Okay. Upkeep. He readies here. This guy does not. This guy readies. And then we go upkeep. The problem is getting rid of this hired muscle is pretty bad for our fight. So unfortunately, I think Tetsuo's got to go. Okay. Scenario is pretty tricky. Sure. That's very doable. We do want the resources from this one because we can use it on the uh, Mariner's Compass. So let's do it. Let's investigate for action number one. We have four, five, six, seven to the game's four. Can I please draw the cultist this time? Or was that just uh, when it was the minus four and had no positive? I had like a very minor positive effect. Some would even say a negative effect. Some would even say a negative effect. Okay, um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna spend six clues. Place a resource here. We succeeded by, we had seven, we succeeded by two, so let's look at the top two cards. I think I will take the lock pick. So this can be the last one we go to. You've added one extra cultist that lowers the drop chance by at least 83%. I mean, you're not wrong. And that's the worst part, because I wish you were, but you're not. That is the, the math of it. That is actually the math of it. Okay. <clears throat> I think next turn we're signing a Faustian bargain. Let's move into this location. All right, Leo, you got some work cut out for you. Does this one need a ready enemy? Okay. Well, Halsey, that's your job. Leo, are you ready to rumble? Let's fight Ichabod. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to three.
Just how it works, huh? Just how it works. You put in too many cards? Uh, he's gonna kill this guy. All right, we're gonna go again, but we're only up now two. So we're gonna draw the cultist here, just so you all know. Fuck me, man. Oh, this fucking scenario sucks. Okay. We have to hit him, right? We have to try or die trying. Okay, we hit him there. We have four, five to three. He'll take two damage. He's gonna just stand up. We can at least like just not take damage this turn. Then we have to discard a card at random, so see you later, that card. The fun, the fun of it. Okay. Let's upkeep. <laughs> I didn't shuffle this deck. Ready each enemy at your location. Sorry, these guys should both be both be standing up. No, Ichabod doesn't this turn. Ready each enemy at your location or connecting each hundred enemy moves one location towards you. Okay. Leo really needs some help. And Finn's just gonna slowly go fucking crazy, man. Oh, of course this advances. Got a lot more corpses where that came from. Don't test me, you Aaron boys. West fires off another switch and another of his horrible creatures jolt to life, twitching and screaming. The tailors respond with a hail of gunfire and a terrible thought strikes you. Agent West or you, someone is dying tonight. Spawn the top card of the reanimated deck. Ophelia is in the corridor. Lowest remaining sanity only cannot be defeated. God. Walking corpses menace the building no matter how many times they're put out of their misery, they get up swinging. I just feel like you don't... I think I just have to rush this. I need to get these clues and Leo just has to try to survive as long as he can. Luckily, Leo is the lowest remaining sanity. So, like, Leo has just got to do his best. But we also have to draw evil cards, so let's see what shit the game's going to throw on us this time. Great. Who needs a hand? It's not the fucking time, buddy. I don't know how I have two resources. I should only have one. I don't think I spent this one here. Okay. Let's try to evade this guy. Four. Five. Seven to three. Nice. We succeed by three. So let's look at the top three cards of our deck. The nimble is probably the choice here. It's probably the correct one. But we're going to grab a perception, I think. Uh, then I think we're going to eavesdrop on our location against this guy's Shroud of Three. We have four, five, six to three. I'll go seven to three just to beat the minus four. If we, we need to draw the, the, give me the cultist. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, there's, that's, that's huge. 
That's huge. Okay. We do get two clues of our location. Then we move up here. So we got to put one damage on each reanimated enemy in play. It's not going to stop Ichabod from getting up unless we somehow draw another ta uh, cultist. But the problem is, like, we're working on nothing. Like, Leo has literally nothing. He has just, like, nothing. But there is a chance. Okay. Leo, you're up, my friend. Here we did that. You're gonna fight this guy. You have four, five, six to his three. Cool. I think we wanna punch Ichabod here too. At six, at five to three. Okay, we failed that one. But then we just get out of here. Yeah. And now we're just on the run. Leo's just on the run and he's gonna try to get back in this. Uh, upkeep phase. Ichabod readies. And then he heals all of his damage. I'll take the soak, man. I'll take it. She is lowest sanity only, which is Leo. So there's one, two. So she actually comes up here. Which ain't terrible. Which ain't terrible. Okay. What's your upkeep? Nimble's good. Crypt chill. Yeah, I'll discard my skull. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing we have to discard here. Move each unengaged reanimated enemy towards you. Ready the nearest damage reanimated enemy and heal all damage from it. Okay. Okay. We need somebody to come back here. Healing him's bad. But if we move everyone towards us, that gives Leo some breathing room. The only problem is now this turn, my boy Finn isn't gonna be able to do much. in here free evade evade grab some clues i mean like he can still do things he can still do things all right leo you're gonna put mitch brown into play 
you're going to grab a clue off of this location. And then you're going to get rid of one of these. And you're basically going to do like close to the same thing next turn, I'd wager. Finn's going to enter this location. He's going to grab both of these guys. He's going to take one horror. His free evade is going to be on Ophelia. Oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. I have one more action. Oh, that's right. Mitch Brown was free. We're going to draw a card. Survival Knife is kind of sick. But not really. All right, free evade on Ophelia. We have, okay, no. I know what we do. We're gonna commit the Nimble on this. We have four. I grabbed this. I did want to because of the Mariner's Compass, so we're just at four, five, six to two. Nice. So we succeed by four, so let's look at the top four cards of our deck. You handle this one can be good. So Ophelia is currently evaded. That's a future problem. But with our Nimble, we're going to move into here. Um, our second action is we're going to try to evade Halsey. We have four, five to three. Ronald Hearts Gaming, thank you so much for the... Uh, Royal Hearts Games, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, we're just going to be up two. No, no, we want to be up three. So we're going to do the you handle this one. Hey, I ain't going to complain about that. This has been very nice to us. Let's not, like, pretend that it isn't, right? Okay. All right, Finn, let's grab the last clue. We're going to do this to be at seven. So four, five, six, seven to two. I'm, I'm not saying I don't want them. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, could you maybe give me a... <laughs> some of the cultists. The cultists would be huge here. But I'm not going to complain, even though it sounds like I'm complaining. All right, hunter phase. Um, upkeep. That's pretty not actually terrible. I do think this calling in favors is actually pretty sweet. We haven't seen a beat cop yet, and a beat cop cracks our game wide open. So that's a great draw. He heals one. Thank you, Super Fang. I appreciate it. All right, you're with him. Okay. The only problem is as soon as all of these guys move into our location, we're in a bad spot. Okay, let's go. Dude, fuck off, man. No one, you're the, the, you're the worst card I could have drawn. Oh my God, go like literally die. <laughs> oh, that's not good. All 
All right, Finn, you're up first. Let's shoot this guy. We have four, five. And we can also just automatically evade him. We are going to grab a clue off of this location. Yep. We're going to shoot him. No. I think we need to take the attack. Because then we automatically evade him. We need the action. We really need it. And we want to keep this. So calling in favors, we're going to return Mitch Brown to our hand. And then look at the top nine for a beat cop. Oh, thank Christ. Give me that beat cop, baby. He costs three less, so we pay one. Yeah, no, like thematically it's good. The design also isn't terrible. It's just, uh, I think there should have been one turn of breathing room. There should have been an agenda that says players cannot leave the main foyer type thing. And it like advanced after one. Or when one doom is placed on this agenda, resolve the set aside uh, story card, right? I think, I think the players needed one turn before Virgil came. I mean, it does make it up by having this agency backup and like maybe I'm doing okay, but I'm also, I play this game a lot. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at getting out of sticky situations, so to speak. Uh, we're gonna move up here. And then we're going to uh, deal two damage to that enemy. We're going to spend eight clues as a group. Deal two damage to Halsey and evade him. And then place a resource on this. We need three, right? Nice. Okay. I think Finn is going to move into here. Let's see this. As remaining mechanisms, the doors fail. You slam your body against the oaken frame. It buckles, then gives way, sending you sprawling onto the floor. Staring down at you, you notice a set of intense blue eyes. Eyes you recognize from your last moments in St. Mary's. Put the set aside Herbert West asset into play at West's laboratory. You are face to face with the last person you saw before waking up in the morgue. If anyone has answers, it's him. When an investigator takes control of Herbert West advance, Herbert West advance. careful, this will not end the game. Fuck. You try to make make West a reason. Place one new clue from the token bank on Herbert West. Three clues. Instead, if there is an exhausted, reanimated enemy at West's laboratory, then if there are at least three clues on him, six clues, we take control. Okay. 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 Well, Finn, you have two actions left. Honestly, I think it's just best spent, because especially because this doesn't end it, we got to put the clues on him. Okay. Because things are about to get shitty. <laughs> Okay. Enemy phase. I take a horror. 
You take a horror. Let me go upkeep. Guard dog's a good draw. Brutus does ready this turn. I agree as well. If you start beating up his goons, he's like, no, please stop. Maybe if we convince him. Maybe if we convince him he's good, it's good, his goons will stop fighting us. So that's priority numero uno. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. All right, let's advance this, shall we? Green liquid bubbles through overhead pipes into another countless gurneys. The corpse uh, within quickly begins to turn. Spawn the top card of the random deck. Then if it has any cards left, remove all doom from this agenda and flip it back to agenda 3A. Otherwise, remove it from the game and advance the act. We have Aristotle. He spawns in the study. This fucker cannot be defeated. When you, engage, when you would damage him, if there's another ready enemy at its location, deal that damage to him instead. All right, let's see our evil cards. Fuck. Plus two health heals, plus one horror and gains the other round, remove one damage from this enemy. After he attacks, discard it. Oh my god, this is a ho Oh, we can put it on him. This is a hard scenario. It's very tricky. <laughs> okay. Uh, beginning of Leo's turn, I think we're gonna add Probably guard dog, right? We just want some more soak. And now we try to fight this guy. We have four, five, six to three, six to two. Yeah. Minus one, you'll take two damage and you'll be Okay, discard one of these cards, oh, the rightmost one. And then we will move into here. We will trigger the explosion. We'll just take three. Uh, then you take three, and then you take three. Uh, then for our last action, we're going to put a resource on Herbert West. And then uh, Finn's gonna just do it three times for his actions. Hmm. Fuck. That's from Magic the Gathering. Replace the act in agenda decks with back for more. Spawn the first among many at the Grand Hall. When Doom is placed on any card, either resolve the hunter keyword on first among many or resolve the hunter keyword on each reanimated enemy in play. All right, so we don't get safety. It does not seem to get easier, it's true. Hunter Massive Retaliate. First among many gets plus one fight and plus one fade for each enemy of uh, beneath it. At the start of the enemy phase, place each other enemy at the first among many's location beneath it. Dude, I don't fucking know. Like, what, what are we supposed to do?
So when an enemy would be defeated at your location, exhaust him. Instead, heal two damage from that enemy, then discover two. Like what? Like, like what? A, what's the point here? We just have to resign. We just got to get out of here. Okay, that's a point that I can do. Fuck, man. Cause like, like let's just like look at this. Like look at look at the board, and like let's just examine this. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six boss enemies on the board. Essentially, like you know, like you're saying, oh, but Justin. Yeah, I mean no, that's what I'm saying, Chain Dreamer. You'd be saying like, yeah, killing. They only have two fight. Just punch them. But the pro problem is, we have five other enemies that we need to deal with that are going to hunt down and kill us. That's a lot of shit we need to do. With only three actions a turn? And they're still just going after us. Have we like take, so do we convince him that he's on our side? Or is he, are we taking him hostage? Like what's happening here? What's the flavor? Like, maybe they're just mindless and they'd kill him too, right? That could be it. Okay, well... Poor Brutus. Yeah, maybe it is for uh, later scenarios. I think you might be right there. Anyways, this is the room we have to walk out into. Finn takes two horror when he steps into a room with a reanimated enemy. You can make the big one harder to fight and then... Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I'm going for the resign ending. I don't see how I can kill this dude. There's just too much required. I just don't see it. Move here. He moves there. Next turn we come down here. Try to skirt around it. He comes up there. We kind of just skirt around this way. So let's say he eats all the enemies. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got to have eight attack. I mean, we're if we can get out, that's what that's what matters, right? Um, no, we haven't even drawn our evil cards yet for the turn. Okay. When Doom is placed on any card, either resolve the Hunter keyword on first among many or resolve the Hunter keyword on each reanimated enemy in play. Well, I think I would like to do the, this one. Three. Didn't those two... Oh, they did. Yeah, no, no, good, good call. Good call. Oh, no, Finn wasn't in that location, Chain Dreamer. Finn wasn't in that location. When he goes into this location, he can get rid of them. Finn's probably the one to do it, right? He comes in here. He evades, he evades. Yeah. All right, but let's see our evil cards. Ooh. 
let's just put this all on Halsey. Yeah, no, that is a good point. Ichabod only heals one now. Oh yeah, none of these fuckers don't heal anymore. They should still have five. Okay, okay. Okay, that does change things a bit. You know, in that case, we're going to do the hunter keyword on these guys. So then Aristotle has to get this because he's going to be our closest. He's no longer reanimating them. Okay. 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 This might be a bit more doable. Oh, I think we actually want you to take this too. No, 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 we want Finn to take it. Okay. Okay, no, 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 you're, you're... Okay, Farazi, you, you cracked, you cracked this nut wide open. You cracked it wide open. Uh, we should see what his is. That could be good. That could be good. All right. This guy will also heal because he has the thingamajig, the strength of flesh. But he doesn't have Hunter. Okay. He has two foot. We have four, five, six. We have five to three. All right, this is a bit wild. We're gonna take an attack of opportunity to get rid of this under your skin for Leo. I think that is mighty important. Okay. Time roller, 30 months of the golden table. Thank you for your continued support. We appreciate it. I'm trying to, I have a bit of a pickle that I'm dealing with. It deals plus one horror. Okay, that can go on Herbert West. Okay. We should get this guy's health out as well. If Leo miss one, misses one shot, he's fucked though. <laughs> He's just straight fucked. All right, we have one action left. We're gonna use a free evade. We have six, sorry, four. We have five to his two. That's a good draw. That's a huge draw. So that goes on him instead. So 
So this guy's evaded. We succeeded by zero. He's at our location though. And I think for our last action, oh, I've been getting resources the whole time. I didn't want to, so I'm not playing this. It's just on autopilot. I think I'm just going to actually, oddly enough, pass on my last action. I could do this, take two damage. And then I can get rid of this haunted, and then I pass on my last action. And now, Leo, we can put Mitch Brown into play. And then we fight this guy. We have four, five, six to three. That's great. So he'll take three damage in total. He'll go to five. We're gonna use two lightning bolt windows to get rid of these. Okay. He's going to get up to five, and five is a bit too high. You know what? I'm actually going to... No, I can't... No, no, I could move out in Finn's and do it on this location. We're going to do that instead. Move this out and do this on Finn's location. Yeah, okay, that's the line. Um, and then, Leo, you're going to move out of this location for action number two. And then we... Uh, Draw a card. Okay. Okay. This fucker can come here. This guy stands up. This guy heals. And this guy heals. Upkeep phase. That's a rough time to draw this, but also maybe it's okay. We can't ring around the Rosium anymore, I'll tell you that much. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna see it, but not this weekend. Not this weekend, but I'm going to see it. We can't resolve any hunter keywords. So let's just draw some cards. Interesting. That might crack this nut wide open. Just put it on you. So Leo can make... 
Leo, if things go perfectly. Oh yeah, no, they, they, the movie looks sick. I also play Marvel Puzzle Quest and the new Shang-Chi uh, Shang uh, added uh, is like really fun. He's very fun to play. He's a great hero added to the game. Okay. So we can deal two, four, six, seven, eight. And then we could potentially have Finn blow him up with the tracks. The traps. All right, we need to hit all of our shots though. We're gonna bring Reliable out, it's fast. And then we fight this guy. I, Blue Sapphire, I guarantee he'll be coming out in the next wave. There's no way he won't be for Marvel Champions coming out. I, there's just no way. Especially because I think he's going to be a, see a big boost of popularity once the movie comes out. All right, so this guy has three. We have four, five, six, seven to three. That's good. That's two damage. Let's go again. That's two damage. One more time. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, so this fucker retaliates. Did you do the mother's phase? I did. We drew the jury rig explosion and the, the incendiary and then the strength of flesh. So he's going to deal two damage to the guard dog, who is going to deal one damage back to him. Oh, no, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Uh, and then for the horror, we're going to put one on Mitch Brown and then the other one on this guard dog. No, I can take the horror on that one. That's fine. We beat cop a damage on him. And then we agency back up a damage on him. <clears throat> and then Finn is going to evade this guy at six to two. Yeah, the trailer for Spider-Man's also really sick. Uh, and then Finn's gonna leave this location and deal three damage to everyone in it. So this guy's gonna go to seven, you're gonna go to 10, and then this guy dies. And then let's see, I mean, Leo can survive this because he has one, two, three. Yeah, Mitch Brown goes. Guard dog goes. And we get resolution four. Wow, I can't believe we actually got through that. That, uh... And then that kills Lola, and then we take two. Oh, he does get an attack of opportunity on Finn. Okay, let's, we'll try to evade him first. That's the correct course. He has three. We can commit. Let's just see. If not, Finn's going to have to see if he survives this. He can have this unexpected courage. So then he has eight to three. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if my, it's my plan, I think, regardless to have Finn leave there. So he would have just died. But can we agree that that would have been the test? Or do you want me to rewind it and deal all my damage again? I'll leave it up to you guys, Chad. Do you think that's fair? We did the test afterwards because we had the actions. That was our, our first action to leave. All right, that's poggers right there. That's good enough for me. Uh, and then Finn also survived. Lola went. She took two and then he took one. Okay, resolution four. The terrifying monstrosity gives one last howl then falls limp to the floor. Looking around, you find an agent's side harm. You fire around directly into both sides of the creature's merged heads just to be sure. Uh, Wes quickly moves to examine the course and you explain you've seen this thing dead before in an agency facility. Ah, Pikmin then. His work has certainly borne strange fruit, but I'm sure you stooges know all about that. You protest. You're not an agent. You're one of his patients. He has a lot of explaining to do. Uh, Wes stops, stares you up and down, squinting in the light of the sunrise. Impressive. One of mine. I suppose I'm going to have to fill you in exactly what's going on then. According to your campaign log, you made sure the first was dead. Oh, but it's not going to be that easy. Easy. 
Each we had victory X. So two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, beautiful. And then I really want to read this thing that I'm not supposed to read. You guys see it, right? I'm not reading it, but it's like under me, right? You see this? I want to read it so bad. I want to read it so bad. I want to read it so bad, but I know I'm not supposed to. Uh, I was not told to read resolution five, but I want to. Check your campaign log. If you're in Grayson's respect, proceed to Dread or Alive 1. As you leave the manor, Grayson flags you down. We're headed back to across town to the facility. Come on, we'll give you a ride. We'll go to Dead or Alive 4. He was not taken against his will. You step into the back seat where West is sitting and staring daggers at Grayson as she takes the wheel. He turns to you with a self-satisfied smile and begins to speak. Let me start from the beginning. You know me as Dr. West. The world will know me as the man who cured death. I spent the entirety of my life in pursuit of a process to reverse the flaw of mortality. Some time ago, I was approached by a research consortium about moving my process to their underground facility, legitimizing my crucial work from its somewhat squalid origins. Of course, I jumped at the chance. Unfortunately, a week or so back, some of the less scrupulous physicians grew jealous of my starting lane advances. Dr. Pickman, in particular, talked the imbeciles on the board into appropriating my proprietary serum for his occult rituals. You've seen firsthand how hardy those revitalized by my ragents can be. He and Dr. Robeson, uh, Robeson likely went too far in folding my work into theirs and created a monster. It escaped after multiple attempts and has managed to infect a good portion of the city with whatever strange substance it derived from. Hence the intense mutations spread throughout Arkham. I quit the facility entirely due to disagreements about the use of my serum and attempted to leave with my remaining pure regents and notes. I will admit those regents didn't make it out of the facility with me. I hope they are still somewhere within. They may prove highly useful. Investigator contains a suspicious briefcase asset. Whoops. <laughs> Dead or Alive 7. Already used them. Dead or Alive 7. Which brings me to where you'll fit into all this. My research required a steady supply of those close to death. I worked in the intense care ward of St. Mary's for this purpose, and I must say, you proved ideal specimens. You purely ask West what he's West what he's implying. Your worsening condition led to a complicated surgery. When things went wrong, I wasted no time in applying my regent. It was notable that your corpses didn't react. I requested your storage in the facility more just in case. I'm hesitant to declare success so early, but you may be the most coherent experiments I've performed to date. This is ridiculous. You pointed to West, you were likely in a coma. Ah, and I'm sure you exhibited none of the common behaviors of the reanimated. A compulsive curiosity, intense fortitude, say, surviving gunfire, and certainly not a startling propensity for violence. The lead and the investigators must decide individually. Accept the horror of your condition. It can only make you stronger. Read the perks of being reanimated if you have injected you, if you Okay, we must do this. We must do this. The read the perks of being reanimated. We both injected the car, the cardinal region, so we must choose this option. And then we proceed to scenario four, morning chorus. Okay, perks of being reanimated. Uh, Scrape seventy seven. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. You know you've known for a while. You know you've known for a while. What you've seen with West just confirms suspicions you had. But just because you've died doesn't mean you won't be able to put a stop to this madness. Heck, with everything happening, being dead might be a plus. Each investigator chose this option, must add the strength of flesh, and death holds weakness to their deck for the remainder of the campaign. These cards do not account against deck size. I see what they must do. Permanent. You cannot leave play. When you see it on a test where you reveal uh, exhausted, heal all horror from unbreakable will. Take two direct damage as effect, and this damage cannot be cancelled. Interesting. Oh my god. That is very stressful. Permanent cannot leave play. When you see it on test, when you reveal this, heal all from strength of flesh. Hmm. 
That's a bit spooky, not gonna lie. That's a tough one. Okay. Oh, that was the next episode of, uh... Man, can you imagine being Wendy Adams and having this? All right, so now we know we really need to ensure that we have, um... Ensure that we have the proper uh, precautions. Oh, fuck, I deleted Finn. <laughs> yeah, time to get versatile and deny existence. I think it says cannot be canceled. Yeah, and this horror cannot be canceled or ignored. Okay, I think we just have to play as if we had uh, five sanity. And we can never take more than that. <laughs> That's fair, Fluffy. Okay. Uh, that scenario was, I think... It, I mean, it wasn't a bad scenario. Homer. Uh, I don't think that scenario was, like, bad. It was just a bit much, and I feel like... Uh, I, I mean, obviously, once again, I got a good ending, but, like, I play this game all the time. So, like, I'm, like, you know, good at the game. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I'm especially good if the chat's helping. Um, but I just feel like there was a bit, it's just a bit much. I think they needed one turn to get, like, for a player to get a weapon out. Because that whole time I was just kind of like scrounging, but maybe like that was the flavor of it. And if that was the goal, obviously mission successful, right? Obviously. Um, but that one was my least favorite of this one so far. It was still a fine scenario. Um, the first two were really good. I liked those ones a lot. But I think would have been, I think this one wouldn't be that fun on replays because it's just like, you don't really have time to do things you just have to go, 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 go. Maybe I also did something wrong with the way I put damage on things. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody, on YouTube. See you guys for the next episode of the uh, Call of the Plague Bearer, which honestly is probably not going to be out. I think this is probably going to be out in, like, November. So, happy November! Bye!